What's going on guys, David Fala here and today I'm going to show you how to use your lever, how to like open, close and all the base techniques and also I'm going to show you how to use the C motion technique to be able to achieve better blends. So welcome to another video, welcome to everyone that is new to the channel. Before continuing with the, with the haircut videos uh, or tutorials, I wanted to actually start uh, teaching you guys a little bit more of the basic stuff, right? Many of you guys that follow me are uh, beginners, people that are interested in learning barbering, or people are going to school and things like that, right? And I've been noticing that, uh, unfortunately, in many schools, they don't teach you a lot of the basic, very basic stuff, right? They start teaching you all the things, and, and some of you have questions, some of you have, uh, you know, some of you guys don't understand uh, some of this stuff. So, I kinda wanna show you guys some of the, the, the basic techniques, and that will be how to use the lever or the clipper, uh, you know, for those of you that don't know, and believe it, believe it or not, like a lot of people message me, that, cause you guys don't know how to use it. So, I'm gonna explain that to you, and also, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use the C motion. It's called C motion, like a letter C. C motion, or, or like a taper uh, motion, like a round motion with the machine, and this is gonna help you guys avoid making lines when you're trying to fade and make the, the fades a little bit easier to achieve. So let's start with the video. So here I have the Andy's Master. This is the first mach machine that I ever used. This is why I learned with. And the reason for it, it's because it's a great machine. And second, it has these little things on the side. I don't know if you can actually see them. It has these little little things on the side and then uh, it, it's easy. It makes it easier for new uh, people that, you know, for new barbers to learn how to use the lever and how to taper, right? So I'm gonna show you guys what, what those lines mean and what to do with the lever. So here is the the masters, you can see it, right? And it has the lever that opens and closes or goes up and down. And it has the little little marks, right? Those little marks, those indents helps us see where a lever is and it helps us achieve the, the face, I would say, a little bit easier. I mean, this machine is great for beginners. So pretty much what it means uh, with the open and lever, what it means is that you open and then you close the the lever, right? And what that really means is that if you can see the blades there, maybe you can see them like this, the, 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 the two blades are closed to uh, each other and then as you open, they, they're they not as uh, close anymore. So they, you know, open and closed, right? That's the most basic way I can explain it to you guys. Uh, so pretty much the lever closed, what it does, it, it cuts the hair um, shorter and open, it, it leaves more hair. So it cuts the hair like longer. So close, open. That's really, that's really all it is. There's nothing uh, more than that. And then when you're trying to fade, obviously you need to play with the lever because if you need to start from like a closed position and, and the hair is gonna be really short, you need to be able to open and or, or create more length so you can actually achieve the blend that you want to achieve. So I'm actually gonna show you guys on the whiteboard that you guys can see there how this, this applies to a haircut. So here we have my good friend uh, he comes with me to pretty much every single class that I do. Um, he doesn't have a name, but if you guys have ideas for, for a name for, for a friend here, then let me know in the comments. So, uh, I usually take a whiteboard to every single class that I do. The uh, reason for it is because I want to make sure that um, as I'm doing a haircut, you guys are understanding the why I'm doing what I'm doing. I think uh, it's it's the whiteboard helps a lot with that. It's a little bit of like a classroom uh, type of thing, but I feel like when you are in a classroom and the teacher is explaining to you, or the professor is explaining to you the right way, making it entertaining, then you actually learn. And knowing why we do what we do, it's very extremely important, uh, especially for those that are starting so you don't create bad habits, right? So this is important to learn. So how you can see it, it says here, see motion or taper technique, right? Um, pretty much what it means is that you are gonna move the machine on a C motion, right? So like a, like a letter C. So, you know, we're gonna do this, like a letter C, right? Or in this case, we'll do it like this, right? So we're moving the machine this way. Um, this is gonna help us achieve a blend. I don't know where my eraser is, hold on. Here it is. So what this is gonna help us achieve is, this is not working, okay, anyways. Um, it's gonna help us achieve a, a fade, right? So pretty much when you do a fade and you look at a person from the front, it's gonna be easier for you to know what type of fade it was, right? So usually uh, a, a high fade, it will go around the head, right? So um, that kind of went inside the shape up, so that's not what we want. Um, so pretty much a half fade is gonna kind of go like this, right? And then a mid fade, uh, we're gonna do it with a different color, a mid fade, 
it's gonna be a, a tiny bit a tiny bit more open and then a low fade it's kind of gonna go kind of more like this right so this goes here you know that's the weight line and this goes here right and a high fade goes here right so that's pretty much what will be a high fade a mid fade and a low fade right reason uh, that we need to know how to use the lever is that remember we starting here from very very short and we're going all the way to very long so um, this pretty much is gonna be short a little bit longer 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 until you reach your you know the fi the final guide or, or the top of the head right so uh, when you close the lever it's gonna close very short when you open the lever it's gonna close a little bit more add as you add the guard right the, the the plastic guard then you're gonna do a one or two whatever and then you're gonna do the same process it's gonna be close and open and then a close is gonna be here and then on with a two for example and then an open is gonna be here and like that you're gonna go up all the way until you're done with the haircut that you want or achieve the plan that you want to to do right uh, the importance of the C motion which is just be able to do this right is the following hold on let me show you closer so you can see that and then I'm gonna show you here how to do it so here we're very close again and this is the machine right <clears throat> so pretty much let's say this is the head right and the head rounds a little bit on the top so this is the head right so pretty much a C motion what it is is you're gonna follow if you can see like a lot of the blades have a little curve if you look a lot of the plastic guards that we use they all have a little curve right the curve help us uh, create the blend right so pretty much what C motion is that you're gonna start from the top and then you're gonna you know do this this look right here this technique that's the technique right because what you're trying to remember you're trying to cut this shorter but this is gonna be longer so you want to make sure you don't go all the way to the top because then you're gonna create another line so this length is gonna be the same as this length if you don't do this right it's gonna go like this and then you're just gonna shave everything pretty much the same length and that's not what we want to do with a fade so with a fade we want to be able to go short go a little bit longer so the, the C motion technique help us do that you see and pretty much what you do when you put in the blade here and then you follow in the actual blade the whole blade is going to help you um, create that motion the same thing with the plastic guards once you have a plastic guard you follow that plastic guard and do that right uh, the only time that the C motion is a little bit harder to do is when you had a surgical blade or a flat blade you know the ones from the from the you know the new machines a lot of them have flat blades uh, because since they don't have that little curve it's hard harder to do this so what you got to do is you want to make sure that you go up and down kind of and obviously making sure that you don't go you're not going in with the whole thing because then you're going to leave everything the same length and that's not a fade a fade is uh, is a blend so it has to go from short it's a graduation you're pretty much creating a graduation right you're going from short to long that's what we're trying to do with a fade so this is the C motion so when I'm fading this is the C motion when I do this right this is the C motion okay let's go back to the whiteboard okay so here with the whiteboard right we are doing this with a fade right so that's what we're trying to do with the C motion right we're trying to create this what I told you like even if it's following the shape of the head which pretty much it will be like a high fade or, or creating a tiny bit of, of weight line uh, would be a mid fade or creating a lot of weight line right that would be a, a, a low fade right um, as you as you know if this is the zero right and this right here for example on um, right here it's uh, probably like an eight like a number eight right you gotta make sure that you are you know uh, opening closing the lever until you get to this to this point right that's what pretty much what you're trying to do uh, the C motion is obviously gonna help us uh, you know achieve that because with every stroke we're not going as high we're not going as high anymore and we're creating exactly uh the blend that we need you know that's the importance of it and i think it's easier for beginners to learn that technique that technique before moving to another technique that um and in my opinion a little bit harder to do and uh and uh and it's easier to get lost so that's why i like teaching this uh for everybody that is just learning uh, how to do the C motion technique or the taper technique and be able to achieve a blend without making lines above, right? When you, the one thing I do want to mention, uh, when you usually have this is zero and the lever is closed, um, as you go higher, right, you can, your strokes are going to be higher, right? So this is pretty much what I want to do. So this is the head, right? This is our head. This is our head, right? So this is the head and here's the low fade that we're trying to create in this case, right? So when we go here, our stroke is going to be very short. Uh, we go here, our stroke is going to be a little bit higher. 
here the stroke is gonna go higher and like that until you know we get to where we want to be so the same thing if you start from top to bottom right our first stroke probably be very high and then as we go as we start fading down then we don't go as high anymore we start going lower and lower and lower until we achieve that blend so um, that's pretty much how to use the lever and how pretty much I uh, will use the, the C motion uh, style or the C motion technique for you guys to make it easier to achieve the blend that you guys want to do. So that was the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of videos. Uh, how I say like I want to incorporate a little bit more of the stuff that I do and like personal classes or private classes or group classes because I know a lot of you have a, lot, a ton of questions that you guys uh, I'm, I'm not able to find online. It's not, uh, you know, not all of you can come to one of my classes or one of the other educators classes. So uh, for you guys, it's, sometimes it's hard to learn and you guys get frustrated because you guys can't uh, figure out certain things like this. Like this is just basic stuff, but for some people it's not that basic, right? So I want to start making videos like this and I teach you guys uh, some of the theory behind what we do as barbers and or hairstylists and all that stuff, right? I hope the video was useful i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like it as well and don't forget to share this with somebody that might need it because i know there's people out there that need this information and that's exactly what i'm here for to create this information for all of you guys um i actually this week i'm gonna try to post another video because uh, i had a problem last week with my memory card and the video got erased and i didn't have a chance to re-record it but i'm gonna re-record it this week and i'm gonna try to post uh, another video because i owe you guys uh you know i try to be consistent with my videos so i want to make sure i continue with that because it's important when you make a commitment you do it regardless of the circumstances right so you guys can expect two videos this week and that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video how i said and i'll see you guys on the next one take care